Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I wanted to show you guys how to make something fun for Valentine's Day. Now, obviously this is IQ Designer. I went into, in fact, let's just go back. We're going to go into IQ Designer. We're going to go into Shapes. I'm going to grab a heart. So basically what I'm going to show you is just how to make, um, and I've actually seen these for sale. So you can make your own very pretty different line property heart, layered heart, okay? So let's start with, in fact, here, let's, here's what's, let's actually create what I wanna show you first. So let's grab either, um, however it is your machine grabs that selection tool. If you go out of this, you have to grab your selection tool. So what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate. I'm gonna go into size. Every time I duplicate, recenter, and reduce. What I'm looking to do is make sure, see, as you can see, entire around this entire heart, everything's separate. What I want to do is make sure that my points in that heart are separated. Okay, so that's how much I want to reduce it. I'm gonna reduce, I'm gonna create a layered effect so that there are hearts all along, all the way through this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to size and I'm gonna reduce again. All we're gonna do is assign a different line property. Now, here's the reason it's important so that these are not touching. Two reasons that the these points aren't touching. Number one, if you have a line property that's touching a different line property and you apply something, let's say I apply a candle wicking to the out, outer line property and it's touching that next one, it will apply that to that. I want, def, I want separate line properties, which means separate stitches to each one of these. Okay, so that I have a really neat little creation here. Now I'm going to duplicate again. Go to size, center. The reason it offsets it, and you guys have heard me say this before, the reason it offsets those is so that you know that you have duplicated, okay? I know I don't have my, um, my little mouse hooked up, and I've had people say, hey, hook up a mouse. Sometimes I'm going to do that, sometimes I won't. So I'm reducing size by using that right there, under size. Okay, duplicate. I'm gonna go back to size, recenter, and reduce. Super simple. And I tell you, once you, once you get this all the way down, it's really pretty. Oops, you know what I wanna do is recenter that. Okay, so now I'm gonna reduce. And you can do this all the way until you have a teeny tiny little heart or until you're done. And, you're, and, you, and you, if you want to have a center of that open, you can do that. We're just going to do this last one. Okay. So now what I want to do is I actually want to bring that up so that you can see what it is we're doing. So what I'm going to do now is go into line properties. I already had my candle wicking highlighted, but I've got a black on that. And for Valentine's Day, that's not the color I want to use. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to grab my paint bucket and apply the red candle wicking to the center there. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply a, can a red candle wick. I'm going to use red and pink for pretty much all of it. So I'm going to go through and just kind of, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm going to do the center red candle wicking and the outer portion of my candle wicking unless I get to the center and I've got two reds in a row let's see and that's all just dependent on how many you have so let's grab our pink and you can grab one of these guys or you can go into your fancy fills or fancy uh, line properties and grab one of these guys so let's see let's apply that one to the inside um and it's fun. It's really neat to, to select these different things. I'm just randomly selecting these. So um, you guys can decide how you want to orient this. So I've got a red cha uh, chain stitch. I will place that there because what I'm doing right now is just making sure that my colors are uh, red, pink, red. So that would be pink, red, pink, red. Okay, so that works. So now I need, oops, I think I made that something I didn't want to make it. So we got red, pink, red, and then let's do the next one, pink, and a different line property. In fact, let's grab the heart and pink. And we'll do that fourth one. And now let's grab a red and 
maybe that one with red and you can do variation as far as the hues of your red and pink too you don't have to do use the exact same one and then um, obviously you guys should know that when you have limited ability to assign colors to this you guys have more than likely most people I know have a billion different thread colors this is just giving you the ability to see what you want it to look like and then add your own thread colors okay don't don't ever think you're limited with this stuff to what's showing on your screen okay that is absolutely not the case so now um, I'm just trying to pick different things so we'll grab that now when you do something like the one I just chose sometimes they will oops sometimes they will overlap and you have to separate them okay let's just see what this looks like my guess is it's gonna look pretty cute But I will, I will explain what to do if any of these overlap. And this is kind of this is kind of fun. You're kind of waiting for the little dramatic pause. I think that's adorable. Okay, so right away what I'm seeing is an overlap of the, the line property that is just to the outside of the inner candle wicking. So I would go back and change that line property. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so what I wanna do is affect this pink one right here. I'm gonna change that line property to, you know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna sound crazy, but I'm gonna use the bean stitch. Okay, so let's see what that does. Um, because these are so tight here, and that's kind of what I was, was explaining. The tighter you go in here, when you have a line property that extends beyond just that line, you're either gonna to wanna to give yourself more room or you're gonna to wanna to apply something that won't encroach on the other, okay? I, I'm just gonna stop using that thing. Um, so now, actually, we're good. Nothing except in here is encroaching. So if that bothers you, shrink down. The, 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 that, was, that was what I was going to lead to right there. I think that's super cute. But what you can do is scroll through. Okay, so that was the first line property. Actually, I think we might have to go this way. Um, that's the second one. If you think you need to reduce this one, let's reduce that. Now, when I do that, it probably won't encroach on that out, outer candle wicking as much. Um, because they're so close... They might stitch over each other. If that bothers you, just give yourself more space. Reduce farther, okay? That's, that's what I would suggest there. Now, let's go to the next one, which I think is going to be this way. And then you're talking about your chain stitch. I like the, the size of that. Now, again, you've got this stitch right here, which is the heart stitch, which I think is super cute. But because it is designed the way it is, which means these hearts are gonna extend well beyond that center line. You need to make sure if this bothers you that it does not encroach on that outer line property, which in this case is the chain stitch, okay? And then this one here, and I don't know what, we'll just call it that, that uh, I, I, we'll call it a butterfly stitch. I have no idea what the name of that one is, but you probably wanna reduce that one as well. So let's, I'm gonna reduce that. I think I'm gonna reduce that almost by 50%. Let's see what happens there. Then we'll, we'll, we'll zoom in on it and see what it looks like. But I think that one was a little bit overpowering as well, particularly since it's close to the inner portion of this heart. Now, those of you who follow the stuff I do, you will know before I even say this that the reason I'm showing you this is because I want you to play with this stuff, okay? It's fun. It's not always going to come out exactly um, as you're going to want it at first, but a, what I want you to learn is this is what you can, you know, this is the kind of thing you can create right in your own machine. You do not have to purchase designs to create something fun for uh, Valentine's Day. If you have a granddaughter that loves hearts, make her a heart pillow that she would love that's just from grandma that has all sorts of different fun stuff in it. In fact, let's show you how to, I'm going to show you something. Let's go to, okay, I have a lot of people that don't know this. Let's go into our fonts, and we're going to use my granddaughter's initials. Okay, so we're going to go T, J, L, and I'm going to set. Now, that's Teddy, James, and we're going to leave it at that. 
I'm going to go in and change the color scheme to red. I'm gonna hit my, in fact, what I should have here, let's go, well, if you want to have all of those done at the same time, hit that three spool deal first and then assign that color and you'll have it affect the entire thing or you can do pink. Totally up to you. And now you have something that's specific to somebody that you love, right? And, or you can write their name in that, or you can do it up here and do an array. You can put your date in here, anything you want. And you can do this for any shape, any color scheme, any of that, okay? So that's a whole lot of fun, especially for Valentine's Day. I hope that that's fun for you guys. What I want you to do is you guys now learn your, you learn to play with your IQ designer. If you have a brother, this is the same deal for you guys. You guys have the same system. Um, and obviously your button, I, they may be called something different, but it's the same deal. So work with that, play with that and enjoy. And of course my dog is sitting once again on the, uh, on the tripod here. I'm going to show you what he's doing here. His name is Leo. Leo. Can you say hi? Look up here. Hi buddy. Hi buddy. Yeah. That's Leo. We call him Bio. Never end up calling dogs by their actual names. Don't ask me why. I think most of you guys that have dogs and they're Sawyer. And of course he's Soy Boy. These are my boys. Hanging out. Watching over me. And I know a lot of you gals love dogs. Love animals. That is this house. Big time. Okay, ladies, have a wonderful night. And Rick, Mickey's husband, I know you're watching too because you actually totally rock and so with your wife, and that's awesome. Have a wonderful night, everybody. If you guys haven't joined So Bless Quilting and Embroidery, you know the spiel. If you watch me, please join the Facebook group. We do lives every Thursday, every Thursday at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, if you don't know what that is in your time zone, just Google, say, what, what time is it in... X time zone when it's three o'clock Pacific Standard Time and it will come up with that for you. Um, I wanted to also say thank you so much. I honest to God did not know that we had super thanks. I just we just started monetizing YouTube and we've been doing this for three years. Um, I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Cindy K. She did a super thanks and I didn't see this. Apparently it was three weeks ago. She did a, 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 and again, I'm learning the vernacular here, so bear with me, but she did a $10 donation for the videos that we do. I cannot thank you enough. I mean, it's just, it's beyond me to know that, that this helps you guys, let alone that, that, uh, there's such a thing as super thanks. That, that is humbling beyond measure. So Cindy, thank you very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. And now what we're going to learn how to do is to scroll names of super thanks. Um, that is not my job. That is my daughter's job to figure out the technology of this stuff. But when that happens, I just, I'm blown away. So thank you very much, Cindy K for that. It, it goes toward paying for Zoom. It goes toward paying for all the stuff that it takes to run this channel and bring this stuff to you guys. So thank you. Um, truly. And thank you guys very much for subscribing. That actually makes it so that we can keep doing this as well. Um, so your comments are wonderful. I did, I, I, I mentioned this at our, and I'm moving this because the dog is moving around. Um, I mentioned this at our live. Um, we, of course, everybody that does YouTube does, does get occasionally a negative comment. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, I've got very thick skin when it comes to that. But I will say, if if somebody on YouTube is doing something for you guys, if if they're, you know, I, I realize there's a certain kind of person that's okay with, with writing something negative because you can't see them. Yeah. That doesn't, it, it's, it's not, it's, if you have something negative to say, kind of like my parents said, don't say anything. Um, just don't watch them. You know, like I said, you want to hit me with whatever, that's fine. But for other people, it does bother them and it, and it, and, and they, it makes them, not it, it makes them feel badly so i much prefer sharing the love and if somebody you know like i get on this channel i've had like one or two or three comments in three years that is nothing a lot of people get real negative comments the more people you get obviously but i would much prefer to see people share the love and 
say thank you like you guys do than than that. So uh, anyway, I, I more of more of than anything, it was to thank those of you who are constantly saying nice things that blow my mind about the tutorials. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. We deeply appreciate your loyalty and kindness and we are very happy to keep bringing this information to you i know it's it's especially difficult to move your machines these things are way you know you need a crane to move these things so um to be able to help you in your house and help you on your machines that you invested so much money in is really my goal um and you iq is the biggest thing that i hear that people need help with which is the same with me when i bought the alissimo years and years ago so please do continue to say, hey, I, I, I don't understand this, or could you do something on this? That's wonderful. I love those because it gives me more ideas of what to do, okay? So thank you again very much for being so loyal to our channel. We deeply appreciate you, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you guys very soon, probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.